Pleasure. Shanti, if everything's an illusion, how do we differentiate between nature as an illusion and the material world as an illusion? Because it would seem you would want to commune with nature because that's part of God's creation. So how, how do we look at that? Yes. Everything other than consciousness is illusion. Illusion means impermanent. Permanent, definition of permanent, it remains unchanged in all the time, all the places, under all circumstances. So everything other than consciousness is illusion. That includes material things, animals, our own body, our own mind, and the nature. Okay, everything is illusion. So, how do we deal with illusion? Illusion is real for us, is relatively real. So, for this time and place, everything is real. It's like dealing with friends, dealing with our hunger, pain, all these are real. But on long term, it's unreal. Because we did not exist 100 years ago, we may not exist 100 years from now. Same way, everything, even inner things are changing. Though it looks permanent, but chemical reaction is taking place. So in nature, everything is changing. Trees are changing, flowers are changing, sun is changing, stars are changing. So everything is illusion. So for us to learn the lesson is, everything is illusion from the standpoint of absolute. But from our standpoint, it's relatively real. So we have to consider everything is real, keeping in the background that this is not permanent forever. So we don't get attached to anything or anyone. That means we enjoy everything as privilege because it could be snatched at any time. So things you are attached to can break down any, any time. Person you love may move away or die. Our body could get sick and injured. There is no guarantee. So this is why everything is impermanent. Now dealing with nature, nature is also impermanent. And your question is how to communicate with nature? Yes, when we communicate with nature, what we do, we don't look at nature as nature. Outside from us, we communicate, we become one with it. So we become like consciousness. So with dealing with nature, we don't have to deal with anything, but consciousness. So we see life in tree also. So when we communicate with other beings, we communicate from Atman to Atman, from self to self, rather than our body and our mind, with their body and their mind. So permanent is consciousness. So we are permanent and spark within everyone is permanent. And spark within trees or all the elements are permanent. So that helps us to get into tune. So if you are gazing at the sky, it's a good chance of communicating because they are permanent, more reliable compared to people or compared to material things. So this is the difference. So there is no problem in any situation because we realize impermanent, that means it's not reliable. So we act in the present, enjoy everything in the present. If you are considering everything to be real, you will have greater problem and frustration because you try to hold on to anything, it would change and you will suffer. So communicating with nature means you become consciousness, dealing with consciousness. Even dealing with other human beings, we deal with them looking at what is within them. So this is why we use the gesture, Jai Bhagwan, that means I greet the God within you. So I'm not seeing you as male or female, young or old, 
big or small, rich or poor, friend or foe, but I see the spark of God within. So the idea of impermanence is when we deal with anyone, look at impermanence framework, but permanent reality is there. See? So this does this avoid the confusion? Yes. Yeah. So everything is impermanent. Like even our own body is impermanent, our mind is impermanent, our emotions are impermanent. So when we realize that, then we live fully. Because we accept body changes, body can get sick, body get, can get into accident. So we are already prepared. But at the same time we remember that consciousness is permanent. It is never born and never dies. So when we remember permanent nature, and I put the analogy in the book, analogy is like a healthy actor plays the role of an old man or sick person or dies on the stage for one hour. All this time he remembers he is a healthy person though he is playing a role. Same way we should play our role that this is only temporary because this life from birth to death is temporary compared to total life, infinite life because for consciousness there is no birth or death. Okay. Okay.